In this video, I will be reviewing the Adonit Ink M for the Surface Pro devices and comparing it to the Surface Pen wherever applicable. So if that sounds interesting to you, let's get started. A little over a year ago, I made a video reviewing the Surface Pen for non-artists, but recently, Adonit sent me this Surface Pen alternative, which can serve as an active stylus and a mouse for your Surface tablet. It also has an inbuilt battery and it comes with a USB-C cable for charging. And best of all, I've seen it go for as low as $48, that is less than half the cost of a new Surface Pen. With this information, it should be obviously more worth it than the Surface Pen, right? In order to save you some time, here's my conclusion up front. It is a decent alternative to the Surface Pen, but it is not a replacement for your mouse. Moving on to the full review. From the physical dimensions point of view, Adonit Ink M is bigger than Surface Pen in length and thickness. With its length of 6.5 inches and a circumference of about 2 inches, the length is much closer to that of the first generation Apple Pencil. And it is very similar to a standard Pilot Pen from the circumference point of view. It weighs very close to a metal mechanical pencil that I have at 15 grams, which is much less compared to 21 grams of Surface Pen and Apple Pencil. With that information, I hope you can kind of visualize or feel how this feels in the hand. I appreciated that the Surface Pen has a removable battery because batteries die and I don't want my expensive electronics to die when the battery does. And the Adonit Ink M has an input battery which can be charged via the USB-C cable so it's not removable but it's at least USB-C which is more than what I can say about my Surface Pro 6. It also has a magnet to make sure you can stick it next to your Surface Pro device. If I could get it, I would actually pick it up in a white or a silver finish matching my Surface Pro device. It is only available in this black color and it doesn't kind of go well with what my Surface Pro looks like. Basically, this stylus is two different devices rolled into one. It is a stylus on one side and a wireless laser mouse on the other side. So let's tackle the stylus side first. The tip is a hard plastic, which definitely looks a lot like the Apple Pencil tip. Compared to the rubber tip from the Surface Pen, I think this is more slippery and it is harder to control on a glass surface. But I have installed a matte screen protector on my Surface Pro device and that has mitigated that problem. Since this is hard plastic, if you drop the stylus you are more likely to bend or even damage the tip. On the day I got this, I managed to drop it and bend the tip a little bit, but it continues to work like it should, so that's a good sign. Also, if you happen to damage the tip, you should be able to replace it because you can simply unscrew the tip from the stylus. The stylus also claims to be pressure sensitive, although as a non-artist, it doesn't add any value for me, but one thing that's worth pointing out is the initial activation pressure. The initial activation pressure on this stylus is a little higher than that on the Surface Pen, but it is something that you can get used to in a few minutes. It would take a little bit longer, about a few hours, especially if you write with a very light hand. Let's talk about another useless feature for non-artists, latency. Here is a slow motion video for your reference of the Surface Pen and Adonit Ink M next to each other. In my opinion, they are so close to each other that the cost savings from the Adonit stylus are well worth it. Other than that, there are two buttons on the stylus on the pen side. You can use the bottom button to turn on the pen. When you first turn the pen on, you don't need to pair it to your Surface device or anything like that. It starts working right away. There is no setup required. Holding down the bottom button turns the pen into an eraser. You can quickly switch between pen and eraser without any issues in almost all applications that support it. It is missing the ability to launch OneNote and Sticky Notes directly from the pen, but that's a gimmick on the Surface Pen in my opinion anyway, so you won't miss that if you have never gotten used to it. That's all I have on the pen side, now let's talk about the mouse side of the stylus. So if you flip this pen, you will have access to a very portable pointing device for your Surface Pro. When you press the lower button on the mouse side, the LED light on this pen will switch from green to blue and your stylus will turn into a wireless mouse. You need to hold the two buttons on the mouse side for a few seconds, pair it to your Surface Pro using Bluetooth, and then you're ready to go. You just need to hold the stylus as you would hold a pen against a flat surface and you can control the pointer on your screen. When you're holding this mouse stylus, the bottom button is the left click 
and the top button is the right click. You can also slide your finger along the buttons to scroll up and down. The idea of using your stylus as your mouse sounds so cool that I almost bought into the idea of replacing my mouse with this super portable stylus. But honestly, it can kind of seem like a gimmick. First, it will take a while for you to get used to using this as a mouse. The click is one of the things that you will have to get used to more than anything else. When you bring your pointer to something with an intention to click on it, and you click on with a moving stick in your hand, your precision won't be 100% at first, it will take some time to get used to it. But that's something you can get used to in less than 20 minutes. Here's a pro tip. Make sure your stylus is resting against a hard surface before you click on something. This will create a support structure for your pen to not slide around while you're trying to click. The only issue I can point out on this mouse is the limitation of space. Usually when I have cramped space, I slide along the surface as far as I can and I pick the mouse up and bring it back to its original position for longer movements. But on this mouse, you can't really do that because when you pick the mouse, it is still tracking your cursor and moves back to the original position as well. I don't know how that will be fixed, but if you are going to be using this in a cramped area, that's something to keep an eye out for. I don't really know what sensor this mouse is using or what DPI it's configured to because this is not a serious mouse. This is something you use when you forget your real mouse. But I can tell you this, this mouse stylus is very useful as a quick transition device for a Surface product that kind of pretends to be a tablet but is not up to the point of using it fully based on touch. It works on almost all flat surfaces. I tried it on wood, stone, plastic, fabric, glass, transparent glass, and even the Surface Pro's display itself. So if you want to quickly take care of something that takes a few precise clicks, the stylus will be ideal for that. To sum it up, if you don't mind the plastic tip, you want a cheaper Surface Pen, you have one of the use cases that justify using this as a mouse, and above all, you can find it for about $48, this is an amazing alternative for Surface Pen, especially for non-artists.